All right, so to introduce you to the ballet box, this is the little cute box kit that it comes in. And you're gonna have basically everything that you need inside. It says it right on the side here. You have a lightener, a DVD that shows you how to use this product and um, balayaging techniques, as well as a paddle. And then it has, to get started, clips, wraps, and a paintbrush. So let's open this thing up. So upon opening this box, you're gonna see all this stuff inside. We have already kind of used and gone through some of this stuff. But here you're going to have your box of lightener. I can't pull it out. I'll show you in a second. But this is your box of lightener. It's called Sunlight. And then here is your DVD that has all the balayaging techniques in it. And um, I think this is a good tool if you have never started balayage or would like to learn a little bit, maybe something new, some cool like steps to follow and things like that. And then inside you're gonna find a huge roll of like a cellophane wrap. It's basically just like um, plastic wrap that you would use for cooking, but it is specially designed for hairstyles in mind because it has little parts that um, basically it's like square, so you can rip off however long you want your plastic pieces to be. And then it comes with this candy shop brush it is a super firm brush really great for balayaging and then it has a pointed end so you can section super easy it comes with this um, black balayage board I tend to like um, the ones that are a little bit different I can show you this one's a little short for me I like longer balayage boards but this is also a good tool it comes in the kit so hey what the heck and then it comes with a um, four of these blue little crock clips. So this is the Sunlight's container. You get a nice size container. It has 17.6 ounces in it and it has a little kind of note from Candy Shaw on the side as well as directions um, on how to use this and mixing instructions. So it's really nice that it's right here on the tub. If you lose the little instruction thing, it still has everything right here. So this is the Sun Life Lightener container that you get and it has the bagged lightener as I'm gonna like try to pull it out and it's basically just like a like a white cream type of texture when you mix it all up. You use any type of developer and it comes with the instructions on the side like I said and then it comes with this small little pamphlet that kind of has a little bit about the lightener in here and I'll just like zoom up for you guys. It was designed to be like super easy placement and saturation with lift for good like sunlights through the hair. It's specifically designed for balayage. And when you look right here at the basics, it says that it gives you up to six levels of lift and minimizes processing time. So to know with this product, guys, when you use 20 volume, you're only gonna get two levels of lift. When you use 30 volume, you're getting three. When you're using 40 volume, you're getting four to six levels of lift. So this is not a nine, like a seven to nine level lift lightener. It is kind of minimal because they want it to be designed for balayage, kind of like sun-kissed highlights in your hair. So here is my formula. I'm doing one scoop of sunlight and then I'm going to be using Schwarzkopf um, Igora lightener and I'm using 40 volume because we're going to be using Olaplex. We want to get as much lift as we possibly can. So I'm just going to mix all of that in there and then I'm mixing one and a quarter of Olaplex into my mix after pre-mixing it and then I'm just going to mix all of that together for the perfect consistency of how I like to work with and then I'm just going to add a brush and to show you the before and after here is her before of the underneath and then the after of the underneath about how much we lightened it up. So I've sectioned Nikki's hair from the top to the bottom. I want a little bit of her bangs out because she likes to go for the little um, 90s look this time. So we've sectioned from the bottom to the top and I'm going to start from that very bottom section and move my way up. So I'm putting the cellophane on top of my balayage board. I'm gonna pull a section from the very underneath part of her hair. I like it to be kind of see-through so that it's not too thick to where the product can't go all the way through. Placing the hair on the balayage board, I'm just going to start to apply this at the ends and because she wants to be pretty bright underneath, I'm going to bring this up quite high and then I'm going to be doing um, the sides of the top of that section. So just as you see me doing here, I've done it in my other tutorials. So I'm just going to bring the color up to the sides and then just kind of soften that center part by adding a little bit of color and not making it a straight harsh line. It can get a little bit tricky trying to take the cellophane off of a plastic board. Um, as you can see it's kind of hard for me so I recommend layering a like foil on top of it and then putting the cellophane over. Learned that trick. It's a little bit easier when you do it that way. So now I'm just going to layer another layer of um, 
the plastic onto the top of the hair and then bring down another section and do the same procedure. I'm just going to split this one as I get higher onto the head in two and then do the same thing, except I'm not gonna be using cellophane because I used that for the bottom part of her hair so it didn't get onto her clothes or onto her skin. Now I'm just gonna start layering this up and then sliding it over to the center and laying it directly on top of that plastic like you see me doing here. And I'm just going to do this all to that back section that I have underneath where I've sectioned off. I'm just gonna to continue to do this all the way up. Because this is clay-based instead of sand-based, it goes onto the hair like a dream. It takes less product, less work, and just goes into the hair exactly how you would want it without drying out and becoming unsaturated. Once I'm done with all of my sections underneath, I'm just going to apply cellophane to that top layer because I don't want that to bleed onto the layers that I pull down from um, the next area. And you can see I've done the same thing to the front. I've just added a little bit of foil underneath to make it sturdy so it doesn't hit my client's face and get color all over her because we don't want color everywhere. So for that top section, I am doing complete freehand balayaging. I'm just using a brush and dragging it through the ends and brightening up her pre-existing color just to give it a little bit of brightness. All right, so to follow up with um, what we guys, what we have been reviewing, we have washed and styled Nikki's hair and this is um, another day. We did about two days ago and if you wanna turn around Nikki for me, I can show you, well the wind's blowing it perfectly. <laughs> the underneath of her hair is what we are really wanting to lighten up and we've put two toners over this one was kind of like an ashier toner, and then the second one she did a peach toner um, because it just didn't lift as much as we wanted. If you compare this to like other lighteners like Blonde Me by Schwarzkopf or like Flash Lift by Redken, this one only lifts six levels, and because we used Olaplex and diluted it down to a 30 volume, it only lifted just a little bit, so it's still on the warm side, which is great for balayaging, but Nikki wanted it to be a little bit brighter than what it was. Um, but with the peach toner that she did, it really like blended all the colors together prettily. But still, if it was a client, I would have wanted it to lift a little bit more than um, kind of the results that we got. But it's good to like test it out and try it and see where it's gonna get you, even on these little front guys. We did these front pieces and she wanted it to be kind of 90s inspired with a little bit brighter in the front. And I got it brighter, but just not as bright. Do you have anything that you want to say about it? I love it. <laughs> you love it? Yeah, we're all buying it. We're all like, yes, buy it. So yes, yeah, so we had fun trying this out, and we like it for purposes of doing like balayage type stuff. I think it would be best for somebody that already has naturally lighter hair. Yeah. So like Lexus's base is already naturally lighter or on virgin hair. Mm -hmm. Somebody that wants a more blended look. If you want yeah. something a little bit brighter and a little more extreme, then short top the blonde me is probably a little bit better, especially if you're putting Olaplex in it. Yes. But yeah. All right, well I hope that you guys have enjoyed this review and I mean, we love Nikki's hair all the time anyways, <laughs> but her peach toner on top of it looks incredible.